And so Netflix has been doing this thing where they're making their own original movies. We started off the trend with Beasts of No Nation, a spectacular movie. And of course, movie theaters are mad, but we're not going to get into that. We're going to be talking about one of their newest original movies, and that is Spectral. Now, this movie just came out, I want to say, late November, early December. So we're you know coming to it a little bit after, but it popped up. I wanted to see it. And Netflix does not make bad things. So... I was crossing my fingers and hoping for the best. Now, Spectral, it doesn't star anybody spectacular like Idris Elbow's and Piece of New Nation, but it stars a lot of people that I've recognized. And I was like, okay, I've seen you in this, 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 and this. Uh, so let's just start. James Badgedale, you might not know that name off the top of your head, but if you saw his face, you know exactly who, who he was. Same with Emily Mortimer, Mortimer sorry. Uh, Max Martini. That guy was in a really cool show called The Unit, and he's also in a ton of war movies, Pacific Rim, all that stuff, and Bruce Greenwood. Those are the main characters of this. Well, the most recognizable. But like, uh, I saw the guy who plays Murtaugh in the new um, Lethal Weapon TV show on Fox. So like, that guy was a, kind of a bit role, but he was in it. So there's some actual legit actors. It's not just a whole bunch of B-movie actors that you never heard of. They came together. They did a good job. Now, the movie, without spoiling anything... It's about it's set in an Eastern European war zone where American forces are fighting what they call insurgents. And now they never tell you exactly where. I don't believe they just kind of throw it in the Eastern Bloc of Europe and say there's a lot of revolution going on. America showed up. Uh, we've been fighting these battles for a while. And all of a sudden, these specters or ghost like things start popping up and killing American troops in some of these war zones. Right. Having and, not seen this. Does it have anything to do with Chernobyl? No. Oh, okay. It does not. So that's does not, not have anything to do with okay. Chernobyl. <laughs> so if you guys were hoping for a Chernobyl twist, nope. Nope. Not gonna get it. Sorry, I ruined it. Spoiler alert, no Chernobyl. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if that's a spoiler alert, but I'm gonna throw it out there. And I know I have great timing on my spoiler alerts. I always throw them out right after. But spoiler alert, there's no Chernobyl. But yeah, so it's an interesting thing. So you, the main character is uh, a doctor who is called in because he developed these goggles that actually can see these things without really knowing that it could. And so they bring him in. They're like, we need your help. We need to design some way we can figure out what the heck these things are. And that is where the story progresses from there. So uh, interesting story. When I saw the trailer for it, I was like, oh, you know, I mean, pretty cool. I mean, there's a movie that came out. I can't even remember. It's like Out of Darkness or something weird like that that came out a couple of years ago. Uh, maybe like five or six years ago that seemed like it was almost the exact same premise so i was like all right um hmm. but that one was not well done so i was like all right netflix is doing it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a shot you know i'm gonna go for this and, and I'm, I'm gonna watch it so the acting breaking it down acting well done like i said actors you knew who they were they were interesting plot plot was not unique because it's just a war ghost story but it was entertaining and it moved it, the pacing was good to it. Um, so it's hard for me to really get right into it and talk about this movie without throwing out any spoilers. But I'm going to say this. The ending fell short a little bit. The buildup to it didn't feel super intense. But am I disappointed that I watched the movie? No. It, it's it's kind of weird. Like It was about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes or something like that. And I don't feel like it was a waste of time. I'm not saying it was the greatest movie I've ever seen, but I was sitting at home just doing show prep. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to watch this movie. I'm going to review it. And, you know, I don't feel disappointed that I did. So if I had to rate it and it's not like I'm not gushing about this movie. I, I don't feel like it's like, oh, my God, this is cinematic genius from Netflix. But it was, you know, turn your brain off for about an hour and a half and have a good time. And that's what you get. Which I'll be so, honest with you, that's exactly what it looks like you're going to get. They're not deceiving you. Because I saw this not at all. too. I saw him Brian before the show. I almost, I almost actually watched this movie. Almost watched it. Now it would have been a surprise if he had watched it, but almost watched it. Yeah, but I was looking for something else to watch after I had finished the series I was watching, and I didn't want anything too serious, but I wanted something action packed. But for some reason, I confused it with a TV show, and I was like, "Nah, I don't, I don't want to put that kind of investment right now." Hmm. But it looked like, yeah, this would probably be eh, not the greatest storyline, but maybe kind of interesting, some good action for yeah. a little bit. Well, if you want to see some cool like sets, the the sets that where it's set in is they're spectacular sets. If you want to see some cool CGI, the ghosts look good. Uh, if you want to see some action, it's in there. So I guess I should just jump to my my overall 
rating for this movie and it's going to be a three which is actually higher than i thought i would give it and when i was halfway through it because where whereas nothing is spectacular it all works so it was enjoyable i'm not saying run out it's the best movie of all time but you'll watch it and you won't be like oh this is horrible like oh my god this is so stupid there's a lot of parts where it might be like the end when they kind of tell you everything it's kind of like oh you just threw that at us you really just kind of threw that at us but again it all just kind of works was it worth the price of admission uh, for my eight ninety nine that I pay for every month for Netflix that, or whatever I pay a month for Netflix. Everything else you were watching already. Yeah, so like the ten cents that I paid to watch this one particular thing, absolutely price <laughs> worth the price of it. I, I would definitely see it again. It's it's a Saturday afternoon movie where you're hungover or you're just you're bored. It's snowing outside, something, and you're like, I got nothing else to do. Uh, watch Spectral. You know, I honestly I wonder have a good if time. That, that doesn't present room for. The kind of movies we actually sometimes do get in theaters of the ones where you get disappointed because you just spent all paid the time $20. And... If you took a date, yeah. you spent like $50 because you had to buy popcorn and a drink and, and two was, tickets to a know, stupid movie. It was okay, you're, but you're more let down because you did everything to go. But this, it's like, hey, you just turned it on. You're like, all right, I'll, I'll throw this on. You didn't really pay anything extra than what you normally pay. Which is actually part of the appeal to it. It's just like, oh, it's already there. You know, I already have this, so might as well. And yeah, so and yeah, again, I'm going to give enough, it a three. Right? I actually, I started doing this review thinking that I was going to give it a two and a half. Like you should see what I wrote down. I actually wrote it half, half a Chewbacca chainsaw less. But you know, when I, I convinced myself that it should be higher while I was talking right here. So that's how the reviews are done here on Words From My Face. Very scientifically, very, very scientifically. But have you seen it? If not, do you want to see it now? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words From My Face on Twitter. Google Blows on Facebook. Oh. Is good ways of getting all of us, but let's keep on a rolling.